Seven signs your spirit irritates their demons. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. Seven signs your spirit irritates their demons. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to need y'all to understand something. You're not the average Joe. Yes, sir. You're not the ordinary individual. Yes, sir. And you ain't regular. <laughs> I need somebody to drop in the comments and say, I'm not regular. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I am not regular, okay? And so, we're about to go ahead and get directly into this video, y'all. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video, as well as subscribe to my channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, family, y'all be sure to ring my bell so y'all can be notified after every video I post. Now, number one, it's going to be this, family. They can't be around you. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they can't be around you, okay? Now, that simply means whenever you walk in, they walking out. Whenever you coming in, they going out, okay? Realize what I'm saying, y'all. They're always trying to be on the opposite side of where you are. They can't be within your presence, okay? They can't be around you. They can't stand being around you, all right? See, right here, y'all, in Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, it says this right here, family. It says, and he said, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Let me say it once again, y'all. It says, and he said, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Realize what I'm saying, y'all. So in this scripture, it's basically letting you know how powerful the Spirit of God is. Yes, sir. How powerful the presence of God is. Rena, what you telling me right now? I want you to realize something, y'all. The presence of God is with you wherever you go. The presence of God is within your speech. The presence of God is within your walk. The presence of God is within your work. So whenever you at your job, y'all, they feel in the presence of God. Yeah, whenever you are around your family, they feel the presence of God. Yes, sir. And whenever you are around random people, <laughs> they are feeling the presence of God. Somebody drop in the comments and say the presence of God. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say the presence of God. Rena, what are you saying to me right now? What I want y'all to realize is they can't be around you. That is a clear indication, okay, that your spirit irritates their demons, okay? Moving on to the next one, family. Number two, they dislike you for no reason. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they dislike you for no reason, okay? Now, how many people have y'all ran across and they just give you these weird fishy vibes, all right? Whenever they see you, they are already making stank faces. Whenever they hear you speak, they are already making stank faces, already prejudging you, okay? I'm talking about straight up judging the book by its cover before they even get to know you. Well, see, here's the thing, y'all. They don't got to get to know you to see your spirit, right? The eyes is the window to the soul. And so they already see who you are by looking in your eyes. You official. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm official. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I am official. Realize something, y'all. They dislike you for no apparent reason. Okay? Again, y'all, whenever you walk around, they making stank faces. Okay? You try to talk to them. Hey, how you doing? They don't want to speak back. Or if they do speak back, they're giving you negative vibes. They're giving you negative energy. It is because of the spirit that you possess. Okay? You have a powerful spirit. See, right here, y'all, in John chapter 15, verse 18, it says this right here, family. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay, I probably used that scripture before y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and recite this because this right here is very significant in terms of understanding your spirit and how powerful your spirit is. Understand this right here, y'all. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay, see, ain't nothing new up under the sun. <laughs> it ain't nothing new up under the sun. 
Okay? Good has been here. Bad has been here. Negative has been here. Positive has been here. Okay? Women being here. Men being here. Money being here. Just in different forms, shapes, and fashions. All right? But realize what I'm saying, y'all. See, if they hated you, okay, it's because they already hated God before you. It ain't nothing new up under the sun. He already know what you're going to go through. And you going through it currently. Matter of fact, y'all, drop in the comments and let me know if you're going through this at your job. Drop in the comments if you're going through this with your family. Drop in the comments if you're going through this with random people that you meet on the street. Okay? Realize what I'm saying, y'all. People dislike you for no reason. And it is the spirit that you possess. Okay? That's the cause of it all. Moving on to the next one, y'all. Number three. They dislike anything you are connected to. Okay? Understand what I'm saying, y'all? They dislike anything you are connected to. So, for example, let's just say you have a group of friends right here, and you have a group of friends right here. And let's just say this group of friends don't like these people over here, okay? They don't like these individuals over here. Why? It can be because their spirit. It can be because of something that they dislike that they're wearing. It can be for whatever reason, y'all, various reasons. However, let's just say a random person, they don't have nothing to do with this group of friends right here. They complete innocent this random person come on over here and they join this group of friends not knowing that it's a war going on not knowing it's a spiritual war going on well guess what now this group of friends don't like these people over here and don't like the random person that just walked inside this group despite of the fact that they don't have nothing to do with what's going on Rena, really, what are you saying right now they guilty by association in their eyes <laughs> they guilty by association in their eyes Reno, what are you saying right now they dislike anything you are connected to Anybody you are connected to They just can't stand it, okay So realize what I'm saying, y'all Anything or anybody that's connected to you They simply won't like it They don't gotta talk to it They don't gotta understand it They don't gotta have a conversation with it They don't gotta do anything If it's connected to you That's a done daughter, okay Moving on to the next one, family Number four They never agree with anything you say or do, okay? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they never agree with anything you say or do. Now, here's the thing, y'all. The reason why they don't agree with anything that you say or do is because they're looking for the flaws in what you do, right? They're looking for the incorrectness in what you do. They can't stand how you do it. They think that you feel that you are superior, all right? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. They dislike anything you say or do. They must think they perfect or something. I don't like it. I just want to see the flaw in it. I can't stand it. I don't know why they walk like that. I don't know why they talk like that, okay? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. They are looking for the flaw because they feel that you think you are superior to them Simply because you are walking within the presence of God Simply because you are walking within the righteousness of God And so they're looking for all your flaws They're looking for anything, your mistakes, incorrectness, anything y'all It's almost like a teenager and a parent, right? See the parent knows what's good and what's wrong, you know, for the uh, kid But see the thing is y'all, the teenager is looking for all the flaws in that parent The parent is trying to tell them, hey, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that And the teenager you think they know it all right the teenager think they know it all so guess what they're looking for disagreements towards the parent they're looking for arguments towards the parent why because they feel as if you know i don't want to agree with you i don't like the way you parent i don't like the way you teach simply because they want to be the ones who are calling the shots so understand what i'm saying y'all they never agree with anything you say or do all right Teenage and parent, y'all, that's prime time argument, okay? That's when you're going to catch a teenager arguing with their parent all the time. No difference, y'all. When your spirit are irritating their demons, maybe their spirit or their spirit have not graduated, you know, to becoming righteous. They have, Their spirit have not graduated to becoming a better person. So if, you are, if you're not smoking and you're not drinking, and if they're smoking and drinking, and they know that you're not smoking and drinking, they don't want to be around you. They're going to disagree with you. You think you better than me why because you stop smoking all this stuff is mental y'all all this stuff is internal and so it's nothing that you can say or do to this person to change their mind it is what it is they already feel the way that they feel about you or anybody with your type of spirit okay make sense y'all y'all drop in the comments and let me know if y'all picking up what i'm putting down okay now moving on to the next one y'all number five is gonna be this y'all they connect with anyone or anything that's against you yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. 
Listen, family, they connect with anyone or anything that's against you. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they connect with anyone or anything that's against you, okay? Y'all ever heard the term or have y'all ever been through something like this, y'all, where they have joined your enemies, all right? That's how powerful you are. See, when a person have to join your enemies, when a person have to connect with people who are against you, that's, that shows how powerful you are, all right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm powerful. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I am powerful. Realize what I'm saying, y'all. You got to understand your strength, okay? And so, whenever your spirit begins to irritate individuals' demons, all right, they're, they're looking for people who are against you. They're looking for allies. <laughs> y'all know how America have allies, how China have allies, right? And see, you're so strong and you're so powerful to where they are looking for allies, People who have the same mindset as them. People who think the same way as them. People who move the same way as them. Bruno, what are you saying right now? They had to join your enemies, okay? They are connected to or they love to be connected to anything or anyone that is against you. So again, y'all, going back to the friend analogy, right? So you remember the random person who came over to this group of friends who they didn't like? Y'all remember that, y'all? Let's just say this random person come to their group of friends or even if this group of friends come over here and say, you know what? I'm against them now. I want to be with y'all. Guess what? They're going to be all for it. Why? They are joining their allies. They are joining their community. They are joining their friendship, right? They are joining, you know, the alliance that they have against you. But once again, y'all, y'all got to realize no weapon that's forming against you will prosper, okay? And so it don't matter who it is. It don't matter where they are. It don't matter who they can join with. It don't matter how many of them is it. They still won't be able to take you down. Somebody drop in the comments and say, y'all can't stop me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, y'all can't stop me. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? A clear indication that your spirit is irritating their demons is that they are connected to anything or anyone that is against you, all right? They're joining anyone who is against you, okay? That's simply what it is, family. Moving on to the next one, y'all. Number six, okay? They are afraid of your light. Yes, sir. They are afraid of your light. <laughs> How many of y'all got the light, y'all? If you got the light, y'all shining inside the comments. Yes, sir. If you have a light, y'all make sure y'all shine y'all light inside the comments, y'all. So right here in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, it says this right here, family. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, y'all. Louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, it says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. <laughs> it's a lot of people, y'all, who don't want to be exposed. Yes, sir. See, you walking in righteousness, okay? You walking inside the light. And see, it's one thing, y'all, to own up and claim your dirt, claim the things that you're doing in the dark. But see, it's a lot of people who can't claim it. It's a lot of people who can't own it. And these are your individuals who are in the industry. These are your individuals who are in high power positions. Okay? In the scripture, y'all, it says that there will be wickedness in high power places. So understand what I'm saying, y'all. It's going to be a lot of people who can't be around you. And your spirit is going to irritate their demons because they see you as being a liability to their secrets. A liability to the things that they are trying to hide. <laughs> Somebody drop in the comments and say, don't hide it. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, don't hide it, okay? And so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, y'all, which is the last one, number seven. And that's simply going to be this, family. The sound of your voice annoys them, okay? The sound of your voice annoys them, okay? Listen, y'all, they can't stand to hear you, all right? It's already one thing being around you. It's already another thing just having to, you know, see you. It's a whole nother thing to hear your voice. They don't want to hear it because when they hear your voice, they hear firm. They hear God. They hear that presence. They hear the spirit. They hear the Holy Spirit. Okay, your voice has so much power within it. And I don't mean that you're just speaking like Dave the Barbarian. I'm talking about when you speak, you speak with conviction. 
You speak with conviction. See, right here, y'all, in John chapter 10, verse 27, it says this right here, family. It says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Let me say it once again, y'all, for my confused people in the back. Understand something, family. It says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Okay? See, whenever they hear your voice, they understand and know that I'm not one of God's sheep. I'm not one of God's sheep. And so when they hear you talk, okay, because you are a servant of the Most High, you are a servant of the Lord. When they hear you speak, they say, oh, he wanted his sheep. I got to get away from him. His voice annoys me. His spirit irritates my demons. Her spirit irritates my demons. Y'all got to understand what I'm saying, okay? Your spirit will irritate demons or irritate their demons. And these are the signs of how you know how. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do a recap, y'all, and then we'll conclude with this video. So once again, y'all, seven signs. Your spirit irritates their demons. Number one, they can't be around you. Number two, they dislike you for no reason. Number three, they dislike anything you are connected to. Number four, they never agree with anything you say or do. Number five, they connect with anyone or anything that is against you. Number six, they are afraid of your light. And number seven, the sound of your voice annoys them, okay? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. These are true facts, okay? If any one of these signs resonated with you, if you going through this, y'all drop in the comments and let me know, all right? Listen, y'all, if y'all would like to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so by clicking the link in my description. To purchase any one of my books, click the link in my description. Also, if you would like to enroll into my social influence course, you can catch that link inside my description, okay? I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality